Hello everyone, it's Kim Odakov and Cairo Designs here in my craft room. The sun is streaming through the windows and I thought I'd do a quick face-to-face -to -face touch base. Today is the last time I'm going to walk through this, I promise. I know I did two other videos, which I'll link below if you haven't caught them. This is the last time we're going to talk about the inserts that I've used the past three months this summer to lose the 10 pounds that I have. So if you're up for the challenge, stay tuned and enjoy the walkthrough of how I use the inserts to achieve my goals. Now, trust me. 10 pounds down, 10 to go before the end of the year. This is where the real business starts and I need to get in gear. I'm gonna have my planner help me do that. So stay tuned, enjoy the flip through, like and subscribe at the end. Uh, love to see ya, bye guys. So the first section I have here that does not have a tab because it is um, an older one that I was transitioning out of, it's my food tracker. And I have other different types of food trackers that I've used in the several months I've been doing, but this is the first one. So what I did, and, and it won't open because I put this little bookmark on it, so I'll just make do with it here. But um, what I did was I started off by putting the date and then exactly everything I wrote, everything I ate down to the last thing that wasn't so good for me, I wrote it all down, every single thing. And so that's how I tracked it here. There's again, there's minimal decorating. This is an Annie Plans Mommy Light Insert Collab that I used. Um, that's just grid, nothing special, but it really did help me just figure out what I was eating and made little notes. I did not drink enough water that day. So it really helped me figure out what I was doing wrong in the process. Now this is July. If we go back to, here's the June. I believe it is. This is a different type of insert. This is a undated timed daily that I used and it had the times of the day that I thought was really great because it was saying, okay, I'm eating this then and where are my trouble spots? Like by using this insert, I realized that my trouble spots are at like between three o'clock or excuse me, before dinner at about 2.30 to three o'clock where I was snacking because I didn't have a proper snack and I was hungry. And then after dinner, see, as you can see here, I've got chips um, with my own little emoji because clearly you're not supposed to be eating chips that time of night. Use fun things like um, stickers and stamps um, and, and ease my way on through this. I also made notes in the bottom section here. Like obviously this says I did not sleep well. Well, did that impact my food intake for that day? And I'd have to say yes, because I kept um, putting carbohydrates in my mouth. So maybe I was um, a little sleep deprived. And then I also had an opportunity to track my water. So I would put how many, how much water. And then sometimes I noted when I went to work. Did I eat better when I went to work? Did I eat worse when I went to work? So I sound, found my own little patterns um, as I moved along here. And then I finished on Sunday and I didn't really want to start a new week um, um, here. And then I was like, oh shoot, uh, I ran out of inserts. So then I, I transitioned to the next one. The next one I'm going to use is this grid insert that I will be tracking um, my food intake on, but I'm not going to pre-decorate because I felt like as I was pre-decorating the first tracker, I was leaving a whole lot of space. And this time I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can fit, you know, a half a week on one page. So that's why I'm not wasting. All right, the next insert I have um, is a transitional insert that I used. Um, it is a dated tracker. It's a month tracker. And I can link below the specific Any Plants printables that this is. It's not actually under this heading. It's under some obscure heading that it's difficult to find. So I'll go ahead and link that. But I went ahead and I tracked my steps on these days. And then over here, I tracked obviously when I weighed in, which did not happen in June. I thought I was gonna ease into it. Um, if I total change in lifestyle and habits, I tend to fall off the wagon. So I just wanted to kind of ease into it and not weigh myself every day. I was just focusing on my steps and my journaling. And, and and that was really it. And and I wasn't even go to the point where I was tracking all my cheats. The next page I've got is obviously July as we move along here. And yes, I use rubber bands for jump bands and I'm okay with that. This one, I tracked my weighing in every day, my cheats, and I wrote down the number of cheats I had every day. Like this one, it was 900. Clearly I did not have 900 cheats, but it must've been a really off day in July. Um, and then I, I progressively got better with a few bumps in between, but I consistently tracked my steps. 
I almost consistently weighed in and journaled and hopefully went over five miles in a day. And then I changed this from the previous tracking of the steps. I tracked my weight. So I would weigh in daily and write it and then noticing trends and that sort of thing. So August, same thing, started writing down um, when I was gone where I don't have a scale and then I kept writing in specifically the date. And then I also did some feminine tracking down here to see if that impacted um, my weight gain or loss. Um, again, I did a lot of traveling in the beginning of August, so I don't really have a whole lot. And then I stopped wearing my Fitbit for a little bit. So, um, yeah, August was one of those hot mess months, but I felt like I was making progress because I got down, um, to, let's see, almost 10 pounds. So nine pounds and nine and a half pounds from the beginning. So the next step I have is this is where I've started tracking my mileage from when I made the transition from the weight loss one. So this is, um, an, again, on Annie Plan's Mommy Lay collab. On these boxes are these little circles. I just, one to 16 and one to 31. This is the first half, second half of the month. And tracked my steps and my miles. And I really wanted to go for more hikes, but it didn't really happen. So I was going to start tracking my hikes right here. But, you know, life happened and it's okay. Here's August. Um, again, I fell off the the uh, the tracking game over here, but I, I think I did pretty well for the months that I did use um, this system, and I am planning to resume in September, so I will have a revisit in this in a couple months as we move forward into the fall. This is my notes section. I did make a lot of mental and physical notes regarding weight loss, um, questions to ask myself, um, what do I want to change? What do I want to change about myself? My mindset about myself? Um, what I'm not wearing, I'm wearing the same five things over and over again. So it's clearly I feel comfortable in those clothes because there's other clothes I don't feel comfortable in because I've gained weight. How do I feel when they take a picture of me and I look all frumpy dumpy? Those are the things I want to change. Um, how do I want to lose weight? I want to be healthy about it. I want to work out five times a week, which obviously is my walking, track my food intake every single bit, and four treats a week is basically what I would really like to achieve. And then what time of day am I vulnerable? Remember, I talked about that earlier, so I made notations here. And why do I overeat? Stress, me time, personal self. You could just list all of those things that make you overeat. Um, every person's different. You just got to be aware of what works and what doesn't work for you. And here are my hotspot items, things that I love, white things, and, you know, other things. So my end goal here is probably something I should have made super big and bold on its own. But I wanted to figure out my steps to my goal first before I made a positive goal. And so I'm halfway there, two pounds a month um, until December. I'm on my way. Um, I think I'm in a sticky part right now where I need to refocus and move forward. What to eat. I made a list. How to eat. Um, literally, how to eat. Look at your food. Don't just shove it in your mouth, right? Taste it. Savor it. Um, why Why do things? Am I emotionally driven to eating? Um, and then take you know, impulse buying and power out of the situation. You know, they see that donut on the counter. Take a bite of it. Is it as good as you thought it was going to be? Does it have that power over you? And this whole thing, I read a blog post about um, taking the power out of the food. The food is taking power over me instead of me having power of the food because of my obsession with it. So anyway, long story short, I just made notes and um, it was a really great article. Uh, um, I really love this person. So I will definitely be going back to reading some more of her blog posts. So here's our meal plan for the month, which I have not started yet, but I did have this other meal. So this meal plan grocery list it has is was in July. I did June in a separate one, but you're wondering what these are. These are actually attached to here, but I use this really cool Tim Holtz tool. I made it perforated so I could make my grocery list over here. This was a, just a grid that I made, a, like kind of a bu um, bullet journal style with some Mommy Lay stamps. 
Um, and so I had my meal plan here and then my groceries. And I just did that for the rest of the month in July. But this one is going to be slightly different with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Things I like to bake, so that's what it is. And then here's my journaling. This is sort of grateful. Um, just quick bits. If I wasn't able to write in the journal, I would write here some of my um, gratitude. And I felt like I could journal every day, but I didn't have to. You know, there's some times when I was on vacation and I didn't want to journal or didn't feel like I needed to. And here's when I started to journal before I decorated and I thought I was going to go back in, but I don't feel the necessarily need to. Um, sometimes I journaled and was creative and that's okay. I thought it was important most to get those thoughts and feelings down on paper. I think that's it for, oh, there's one more for the month. The last section I have here is recipe ideas. And like, say I have all three pounds of sweet potatoes. What am I going to use them for? Great. Uh, websites for support. Um, school lunch ideas. Um, this is, again, with the meal planning things that I know my kids would love to eat. And I'm always giving them sun butter and jelly sandwiches and apple slices. And here's like, you know, a way to break the mold a little bit. So as we close up shop, I just want to reiterate how much um, I really have enjoyed this so far and I'm going to keep enjoying it. I think the problem is um, need to just worry about baby steps and what works for me and figure out what works for you. And it may not be the same thing, but at least you'll be aware of it. All right. Well, thanks for joining me on this quick flip through. And um, again, I'll link all that stuff below and up above. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. Hey, everybody. It's Kimoto Kova and KRO Designs. Thanks for... Is it the... Oh, whoops. Planner. The glare off my glasses is nasty. It's going to be... Whoops. They're making noise. 10 pounds, what's like nine and a quarter pounds. I have been tracking like a mother and it really helps. Where'd my planner go? Me, I've done two other videos on this.